first, I will introduce the controller to you. For the controller, we have two parts. One is the controller in the computer, another is a remote controller. For the controller, this is a separate, separate we use. We can see here, separate 6.1. This is a controller. When we open it, it will be like this. And uh, this is a remote controller. When you, if, for example, if you go somewhere and you just keep here in hand, then it is okay. But make sure there is a Wi-Fi connector to the controller. This one will connect to the computer. This one connect to the computer. Then this one can be used. Now let me introduce the controller, how to use it. First we can see here, we can see here, here, here we have four arrows. This arrow is for the X, the, the horizontal two, one, two, it's for the X. The vertical two for the Y. And uh, here is for the Z, these two are for the Z. Here we can see here, uh, the, this is laser. Laser, it means uh, laser point follow. When we um, push the follow, uh, the laser head will touch the, will go to the position where it will cut. And uh, blue, it is for the air blue. And uh, here is start. Start is for the program start. Uh, for the others, always no use. Here has one frame. We can see frame. When we, when you press frame, the machine will move to the frame first and to check whether the cutting material is out of the space or not. This one is a simulation. Simulation is, it means the machine will go to the cutting but not exact, just for the checking. Same thing for the leader, for the remote controller. It is has the same same function and the same words there. Here I want to introduce the marker here, especially. Uh, for example, when you work uh, uh, one plate there or several plates there, you need several working start points. Then we use the markers when we open. It. You can see there are six marks. Six marks, it means six uh, working start point. That means you can set six working start point there. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can see here, there is one layer. We press it. We press here, here has a layer. You can see here, cut speed. Here we usually need to set and uh, here is a lift uh, height. Here, no need to set. Okay. When you cut a different thickness, the different uh, cut speed you need to set. And uh, here, we can also hear plus, plus here. If for the very thin material, like uh, one millimeter, two millimeter, something like that, we use the direct. But if we cut uh, thick uh, materials, like the five millimeters steel, we need the two stage. It means the laser will first make a point there first, and then second cutting. If ten millimeter something like that, we need a three stage, and it means the laser will work three stage first. That step is how to load the program. Uh, for this controller, you usually just use the DXF format, that is okay. For example, the file first, then we find it where in the files. For example, if this one. This is the file we need to uh, cut in. Uh, for example, this, is, this cutting, we need to cut a lot in one uh, plate. Then how to do it? Let me teach you step by step. For example, we cut this uh, cover just now. We just load into the controller. Uh, first, we need to uh, choose it. We choose it. Then uh, we need to calculate, uh, measure it. It is correct or not. Measure. 
You can see we can measure each. Mm -hmm. The matter here, there is. If it is correct, then we continue the next step. Next step is uh, we how many we want to do. For example, uh, we want to cut. We want to cut uh, 16. 16. We choose the area. Area. Okay. 16. It means row four. This one also four. Four by four. It is 16. Okay. You can see now it is 16. 16. Then we do the uh, we do the next team because how many uh, plates we need and uh, how to cut we can see the materials is the best. We choose and uh, we choose the next. For example, if our materials is 1.2, 2.4, for example, this is our material, then we just uh, press OK. Then you can see. It will cutting like this. It will seal the material. It will cut like this. It is a nesting function. And uh, here we also want to show you two things. One is a bridge. One is the cool edge. Cool edge. It means it means uh, we use the, just uh, the edge together. Okay. You can see here, nest uh, completed, one block board created. It will use the uh, core edge together. Here is the bridge. Bridge, it means it will connect there uh, a little. Yeah. For example, if this tool, we don't want to, uh, them to cut down. We need to bridge, uh, have one bridge. Then you can set some parameters here. We press OK. Then it will be bridge there. For the fiber laser machine, uh, if you just uh, need one working start point, then no need to set manually. For example, if we want to cut this plate, okay, we want to cut here, then the, we just move the fiber laser head to be here, and then we press the frame, press the frame, then the machine will set the working start point itself. Of course, if you want to set uh, some other working start point, for example, you want to set five or four, just uh, we use the makers. Later, I will introduce to you. Now, let me introduce the fiber laser head to you. Here, this is the fiber laser head. We made one cover for you for the pretty outlooking and uh, to also protect the laser head. Let me open it, you can see. Here, we use the retools. Retools, this is the brand what we used. And here, you can see, here is one tube. This is for the air, air tube. And uh, these tubes, these tubes, others are for the water tubes. Here has one uh, electrical cable. It connects to here. This equipment is for the height adjusting. Height adjusting. For example, if the plate we put here, it may be something has act like this or like this. Not uh, the flat, but the laser head will adjust the height itself by this one. And here we also have the red dot. Red dot position, it means the laser will cut here. The most important thing is here, this one. This is the focus. This is the focus. This one is for the manual focus. Uh, usually speaking, there is one mark here. You can see, there is one mark. See clearly, one mark. The mark uh, for the one kilowatt laser it is for, when we, it is in the zero, it means we cut the one millimeter is the best effect. Uh, if for the 1.5, you need to adjust to the 0 0.5 or something like that. But uh, it's better you test yourself and uh, adjust according to the exact situation.
Now uh, I will introduce our cabinet inside. This is the cabinet. This is the, our cabinet inside. You can see we use the Yasukawa uh, made in Japan. And also the Schneider spare parts. It's made from France. You can see for our machines, different color, different color cable, we for different use. The light green, yellow, red, black, different color for different use. This kind of color is used for American, Canada, UL standard and also for the CE standard in Europe. And also for each cable, each cable have the English writing there. English writing, you can see, every cable we have English writing. And if the cable have some uh, function, we also have the English explanation. For example here, this is for the compressed air. Compressed air. We will English writing compressed air. And also for the Yaskawa, we have the X, Y, Y, Y2, Z. We also have the English labeling there. For the customer, easy to understand and to find the problem. Now for this part, it is for the, this here, it is for the controller. Here, here is for the controller. This here, we make one plug for you. This plug you can use for the computer or something else. It will be easy for the customer to connect the power. And here is a computer monitor. We put here, computer monitor put here. Uh, it will be through the space. Then the customer use it, then it will be much easier because in the a controller there we also have the computer buttons to put here okay uh, here we make one cabinet here this cabinet is for the fiber laser source you can see we put the fiber laser source here and to save space and more safety because the fiber laser source is very expensive if we put outside, it is easy broken by manually. And uh, uh, here we also can keep the dust off to make it clean. So we put it here. Here you can see we have five plugs. One, two, three, four, five. Five plugs. The first four, it is for the water water it connected to the water chiller and uh, this one it is for the air pump, uh, for the air connect to your air compressor or air tank usually the air pressure is 1.5 mpa connect to your air compressor and uh, here this four connect to the water chiller later when i introduce a water chiller i will tell you how to connect this is the water chiller this water chiller is used for the water cooling for the fiber laser. And the, here is the water inside. It means we put water from here. And uh, here has the labels for the water. You can see there are three colors. The red one, green one, and the yellow one. The red one, it means water to fuel. We need to put water immediately. And, uh, the green one, it means the water is okay. We must keep sure, uh, make sure the water always in the green side. And uh, the yellow one, it means the water too much. We need to make some water out. How to make it out? And here, you can see, we have one uh, to make sure, uh, to one drain here, and uh, to make the water outside the chiller. Okay, now let's back to, let's back to here. This is the most important for the water trailer. You can see we have four plugs. One, two, three, four. The first one, it is inlet water. Inlet water. Second one, outlet. Third one, inlet. The fourth one, outlet. And uh, let me show you how to it connect. For example, the first one, inlet in the water trailer. 
it will connect to the outlet in the machine. Let's follow this, this stream. You can see we to the second one. Outlet water. Outlet water. The same way, the first one, it is inlet in the machine. And it will connect to the outlet to the water trailer. Inlet on the machine. We follow this stream. Follow this stream. We follow. You can see it connect here. Outlet. The same way, this one inlet on the chiller and it will connect to the outlet in the machine. And the outlet in the, water, the chiller, it will connect to the inlet to the machine. Same way. Here is, we have uh, one tube here, some plug, and also one switch. Let me introduce to you what it is for. Here, it is a general switch. A general switch. It is for the general power of the machine. If we make it down, it will power off the machine. Make it out, it will be keep the machine power on. Here we give you three. Uh, we give you two more plugs. It is used for spare parts. In future, for example, you use some earphone or some others, you can plug here. But it is only for spare. No much use here. Here. This is the uh, smoke, smoke tube, smoke tube. This, this tube, it is for the smoke drain out. You can see here, we have the air phone, air phone. Now follow here. Yes. You can see. Okay, it will connect to here. It will connect to here. When the machine is working and uh, there are a lot of smoke, the air phone will work. Then it will take it out. And uh, same way, on the air phone, there will be plugs. There will be plugs. Uh, this plug will connect to here. It's okay. 